How is up guys? So today we're back to the game animation sample. We are on the 5.5 version where we can uh, crouch and sprint. So uh, the only thing I did was just uh, redo my tutorials on this version and everything seemed to be working nice. Now the only issue I found was when we have the X e equipped and we basically spread the legs like this the foot ik is kind of uh stuck right there right so if we move like this you can see the fit is stuck like this so um to fix that i'm going to show you how to do that and also we're going to be applying the hand ik to the weapon so that the hand attaches to uh the weapon so let's begin the first thing we're going to do is go to our uh, blueprints weapons folder and to our meshes and open our rifle skeleton. Now over here on the root, we're going to add a new socket and we're going to call this left hand. Now we're going to add another socket and we're going to call this left hand idle. Um, the reason for this is because uh, a single socket is not enough for both animations, so this way we'll have uh, different left hand positions for uh, the different idle or aiming animations. Now you can adjust the positions here if you want, uh, I already have them right here, so I'm just going to copy them. So this one is for the uh, left hand socket, so I'm just going to paste here on the location. And uh, for the idle socket, I'm going to select it over here and paste on the location. So that's basically it. Uh, we can close this now and uh, we can go to blueprints and open our character. Over here, we're going to create a new function called um, get hand IK. And uh, now essentially we're going to get our weapon over here going to say get child actor we're going to convert this to a validated get like this and uh, we're going to get the position of the sockets that we just created so here uh, we're going to say get a uh, component by class this one we're going to select the skeletal mesh component to get the mesh of the weapon here we're going to say get socket transform and uh, now the socket is going to come from the function inputs like this and we can call this um, just socket like this. Now here uh, we can split the structure and now we're going to get the mesh like this. We're going to say transform to bone space and we're going to connect the position over here and the rotation over here. So essentially what we're doing is converting the socket position that we found uh, to um, a mesh position relative to the bone that we specify over here. So here we're going to specify the hand R bone and that's basically it. So here we're going to say return. We're going to connect this to the is valid and now we're going to return the position and the rotation uh, like this sorry so um that's basically it and the reason we do this function here instead of the animation blueprint is so that you can use this with uh, all the other characters and all you have to do is uh instead of this mesh you have to use the body of the character that you are using so uh, in this case the body is the mesh but for example for meta humans uh, it is the body that uh, is inside of the blueprint so that's basically it now we can close this we can go back to our animation blueprint over here and uh, here you should have something like this. So you should have uh, the overlay states over here, the aim offsets. Uh, so if you follow the previous tutorials, this is how it should look. Uh, we also have this new stuff, which is uh, from the new update, uh, which is the foot IK. And that's basically it. Now here on the overlays, we're going to fix the uh, feet getting stuck to the floor. So here on the melee animation, 
on the layer blend per bone, we're going to change this curve blend option to do not override. And if we compile and hit play, if I equip the X and try to do the same thing and stop in the middle of the walking, as you can see, the feet are uh, no longer getting stuck to the floor. So uh, now uh, we're going to go back to the animation graph over here and we're going to start to implement the hand IK. So to do that, we're going to go over here to the end and we're going to move this uh, pose history a little bit. So like this. Now, uh, this one over here is the foot IK. So we're going to save this into a cache pose and call it foot IK. Now, um, over here, uh, we're going to basically just move this a little bit and uh, essentially we're going to get a blend by bool and we're going to promote this into a variable and call it ik enabled so if the ik enabled uh, we are going to apply the animation if not uh, we're going to continue to use the previous animation flow so here we can connect this to the pose history like this now what we're going to use uh, for the hand IK is a fabric node and uh, this will allow us to uh, put the hands where we want to so over here on the effector targets we need to set this to be the hands R so which is the uh, bone where this node will be relative to okay now the effector transform will be bone space and the rotation will be no change okay now the tip bone will be hand l so our left hand and the root bone will be upper arm left this one over here so uh that's it we can connect this to the true if the ik is enabled and here we can say use cache pose and use the foot ik pose um right here so uh we can move this a little bit like this uh perhaps move this a little bit more and that's essentially it so here um if the ik is enabled we use the ik if not we're going to continue the previous animation flow and use the foot ik now uh this effector transform we're also going to promote this into a variable and call it ik position okay so this is uh the position of the ik that we need to calculate so here we can uh comment this and say hand ik and that's basically all we're going to need uh to apply that to our animation flow now we need to calculate the position so we're going to go here to the event graph and i have this uh like this and uh here we're going to create a new function call it set hand ik and the first thing we're going to do is uh get a property property axis to get a thread safe variable here we're going to say send box character um this one and we're going to search for traversal action so doing traversal action and here we're going to say branch and uh, essentially we only want to apply the uh, hand ik if we are not uh, doing a traversal action now um, the next thing we're going to do is select the socket depending on the animation that we are uh, applying so here we can get another property axis so property axis and now we're going to go to um, sandbox character um, character input state and select the wants to aim variable so uh, here we're going to say select and connect the index over here uh, we're going to create a new local variable over here and call it socket we're going to change this to name and uh, we're going to grab it over here and say set so if we're not doing the traversal action we continue uh the value is going to be from here 
and essentially what we're going to do is select a socket depending if we are aiming or not so if we are aiming we're going to use the left hand socket and if we are not aiming we're going to use the left hand idle socket so that's basically it now here um if we are doing a traversal action we're going to set the ik enable to false like this and now over here uh, what we're going to do is get sandbox character get overlay state the variable that we created before and here we're going to say switch on overlay states so uh essentially we only want to apply the uh hand ik on certain uh animations so here we can grab this over here and on this tree we're just going to disable it like this now um over here what we're going to do is get um the position of the sockets calling the function that we created on our character um, but before that, we're going to make a few validations to make sure that we only enable the hand IK on certain uh, occasions. So here we're going to say get uh, a property access. Here we're going to say character movement. And we're going to search for the is crouching. This one. Okay. Now, uh, here we're going to say not boolean, like this. Uh, from here, we're going to say and. Now, here, we're going to say gate. We're going to say equal, this one. And if this is equal to sprint, so we can connect to the end over here. And here, we're going to get another property access. We're going to search for the is moving is moving and connect over there and um now we're going to add another pin and over here we're going to get another property access we're going to go to the sandbox character um character input states wants to aim we're going to say not boolean and connect this over there so this is the first condition um, if any of these conditions is true we uh, do not apply the um, hand ik so uh, now what we're going to do is here we're going to get another property access we're going to say um, character movement and search for the is falling now uh here from the not we're going to say and and connect this one over here like this now uh this one we're going to say or and connect this over here okay now we're going to say branch and connect this to the rifle animation so uh if this is true so if any of these conditions is true we're going to disable the hand ik like this okay if not uh we're going to uh get the position uh so we can get the send box character and now we can call the uh get hand ik function so we can connect this over here now the socket is going to be the local variable that we created like this and this will give us the position that we need now we have the transform position the ik position we're going to set it over here we're going to split the structure and connect the position and the rotation so um that is essentially it so uh, now what we have to do is grab the ik enable and set it to true like this so now uh, our hand IK should be uh, pretty much working. So if we uh, do it like this, as you can see, uh, it is not working because we're not calling this function. So let's go to the event graph and over here after the aim offsets, uh, set hand IK like this, 
and it should be working. So as you can see, now the hand is completely attached to the character. Now, a few improvements that we're going to make is, uh, for example, when we run, we want to be able to uh, not use this idle animation. And when we jump, we also want to let go of this idle animation. So, but as you can see, now the weapon is completely attached to the character. So, um, that's basically it. Now, uh, to change those animations, we're going to go to the animation graph and find our uh, overlays over here. And what we're going to do here is just expand this a little bit like this and this one like this. So, we can move this here. And over here on this idle animations that we had over here, we're going to say blend by bow and connect this to the false over there. And here we're going to connect our IK enable variable like this. So if the IK is enabled, we're going to apply the idle animations. Okay. And if not, we're just going to grab the main pose and continue the animation flow like this. Now, um, the other thing I'm going to do is over here, I'm only going to apply this layer if um, I am not crouching. So here I'm going to say blend by uh, bull and connect this over here to the base pose. Uh, now here we're going to uh, click this and say um, get uh character movements this one and search for the is crouching this one okay like this now if we are not crouching we can apply this layer uh if we are then we use the main pose and continue this one over here um, now i'm going to change the blend times on all of this thing so everything is a little bit smoother so in this case, uh, I'm going to set this to 0.15, this one to 0.25, uh, this one also 0.15, this one to 0.25, this one I'm going to set only this one to 0.25, this one to 0.25, and that's essentially it. Now, something that I did on my project was this last layer, I change it from uh, spine two to spine three. I just find that it works better. If you want, you can also do that, um, but that's basically it. Um, now everything is completed. The last thing I'm going to do is go to the animation graph and over here on the hand IK, I'm also going to set the blend times. So here is going to be 0.25, and here is going to be zero. So I want the transition uh, to disable the IK to be instantly. So that's what's going to happen. So compile save, hit play. And now if we start running, as you can see, uh, the character uh, releases the weapon. And if we jump, we also release the weapon. So that's basically it, guys. Um, this is how you can apply the hand IK how you can uh, basically make all of these transitions. So I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something with it. And don't forget to subscribe.